Hey guys, this reading is asking, what do you need to hear most right now? Okay, what messages do the angels and spirit guides have for you? Okay, what is most important? And oftentimes we hear these things in our heads over and over again, but we're not really listening. Okay, so this is your confirmation reading. So pile one pile two, and pile three. Let's get started. All right, pile one. Um, both of the de the cards I'm using here are by Doreen Virtue. They're angel cards. Okay, and I set my hand on here to feel the energy, feel any messages, and I saw a flower garden or like a field of flowers with mountains around going as far as you can see, kind of like, um, you know, just this wild countryside vibes. Uh, like I'm seeing like a dog and running in the wind or feeling the wind or hearing the wind in the trees and looking for shapes in the clouds. Okay. Um, this could be a place that you like to go, or it could be an internal um, place that you like to go, or it could be a wish that you wish you could be in that kind of uh, situation. So let's see what the cards here are saying. Okay, we got self-acceptance, forgiveness, and divine timing. All right, <clears throat> here is decision, okay, king of Ariel, successful, stable, accomplished, powerful, and the two of Gabriel, make bold and ambitious choices, great progress is possible, important relationships with people who share your vision. So. It seems like you have this vision of how you want things to go, of the perfect timing aspect of this. And you see that these two angels are facing right, which I take as the future. Okay, so, and this one is aiming to the future. So it seems like you have the right plan. That's your, that's the right plan. Um, way to envision your life and keep in mind it doesn't have to stay that way it can change okay um, but i'm seeing these two cards here the people are looking in the past so it seems like you need to forgive some people or some situations or come to an acceptance that that's just how things turned out and you will have more power in the future about um, what happens Okay, and this King of Ariel says, your plans are working out very well, professional and financial success, and using resources wisely. So I'm getting like, you know more now than you did then. You need to forgive yourself for not knowing what you know now back then. Um, you did what you could with what you knew back then. Okay, and you've always had your best interest in mind. You've always tried to take care of yourself. Okay? And it seems like you need to forgive whatever. You need to have some type of closure for this difficult situation or things not turning out the way you wanted them to. Okay? Because we cannot control others. But it seems like you've become successful, stable, accomplished, and powerful because you have focused your energy on on gaining those skills and those characteristics in your power. And you can see he's like inside of this room and there's a treasure chest here. But out here is where the sun is shining and there's a banquet table. So it seems like he needs to come out of the shadows and into the light and show people really how much you've progressed. Um, it could be that you're afraid of people judging you, 
but the truth is you've done so much work that their judgments might, might not even affect you like they used to. And that's amazing. That means that you've really healed. I must say, not everyone um, can take criticism with a grain of salt. All right, so the self-acceptance here, you most definitely have this new level of um, view, how you view yourself. And it, she is holding this, uh, I want to say it's a mirror. Let me look here. Oh, she's grabbing a butterfly. It looks like a butterfly. Um, so she is spreading her wings, okay, allowing herself to just be who she is. She's bearing all, um, for lack or he, I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl, um, they're, they're showing their true self and they're saying, this is who I am. I'm going to arrive as myself, I'm going to leave as myself. I'm not going to pretend to be anybody else anymore because I feel the best when I am my true self. All right. And this decision card here, um, she's opening the cage and letting the birds fly out. Okay. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox. Unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. So self-confidence and self-acceptance definitely comes in hand in hand when it comes to healing. You must have self-confidence and self-acceptance in tandem to, to truly heal and not let anyone hold you back, not let anyone's opinions of you hold you back. Okay, and here it says decision. So it's either you are making this decision to gain self-acceptance and self-confidence, you have made that decision and you're letting your wings fly. You are un uncaging yourself. You are opening that cage that you've been inside. And you know, when he was in this dark place here, it seems like this is inside the cage and this is outside the cage. All right. And now they're showing me this Okay, these guys here, this one, I don't know, the, the, this guy kind of like looked a little bit disheveled to me, like he was lost on a deserted island or something. Um, but again, in this card, there's darkness back here, but over here, there's light. So that's another confirmation that you have been doing this work internally, this shadow side, and now you're looking, how can I move into the light? How can I shine my light? Um, it's saying, make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. And now they're showing me this defeat stepping forward. Put your best foot forward. And this is a world here. So it's like, take yourself out of this house, out of this town, out of this country, out of this planet, and sit in the imaginative state of being floating above the universe, I mean, floating in the universe above the earth, and just taking it all in. And if you want to go even farther out, you know, outside of the solar system, outside of the Milky Way, Milky Way outside of, I don't know what's beyond that. I don't know that much about space, but, you know, Take yourself out of the situation and see how small you are. And then allow that to give you power. Okay? In your life, when you make a decision, it affects you. That's true. It's a big deal. But in the grand scheme of things, if you are doing something that is taboo in someone else's world, that doesn't mean that the whole universe thinks that's taboo. Or that you're going to affect the whole universe by this situation. Okay? I mean, you may, but really, we only have power here on Earth. Okay? Something else controls the other worlds. <laughs> um, it's kind of mind-boggling. Uh, so, focus on being around the people who are sharing your vision, who are holding the same ideals as you. 
and make sure that those ideals are coming from a place of love and light and not darkness and fear. Okay, and finally, divine timing. It seems like when, when you do this self-acceptance and forgiveness um, healing over here, then the divine timing is going to put you right on target for this new way of being, this new start that you are hoping for. Um, and again, I can't, I can't get over each of these three cards have a person shrouded in darkness or shrouded in a cage and they're opening up into the light. It seems like it's very important for you um, to get out of that darkness. I mean, look at this angel. Her face looks like she's so doubtful. Okay, but don't let your ideas of what you're capable of come from the past. Okay, if you feel like I've never accomplished anything in my life, then go for a goal that seems easy for you and accomplish that. And then do another one and do another one and do another one. And that momentum is going to help you continually hit that target every single time. All right. So thank you all for watching this video. I appreciate your time that you have watched this. And I really hope that these messages um, resonated with you. Please give this video a like if it did. And going on to pile two, feel free to continue watching. Love and light, pile one. Alright, pile two, here is your deck. I'm just going to sit here for a moment and get some vibes here. I'm, I'm seeing a car driving fast and then I'm getting fast food and like there's a, a person in the car that you want to be with. You're on the, you live in the life, you're on edge. Um, maybe you're doing things that are questionable like you're like what if I die or what if I get injured because of this. Okay, maybe you are at a point where you're questioning if this is really the life that you want to be living right now. All right, so let's see if that resonated with you. Let's see what this has to say. Okay, blessings. You are protected, okay? But do not juggle with your life for the sake of someone else's happiness. All right, emerging. And children. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting two things for this children. It could be that you're going to have a child, or it could be that this person that you're with brings out the inner child of both of you. Or like your inner child is like emerging, or um, your inner child is benefiting from this energy that you're experiencing. Let's see what the other cards say. All right, nine of Michael, your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. So I'm getting this could be one of two ways. The first one is that you are worried that you're not going to find the one, or you're worried that this person is not the one. Um, or maybe you're worried that you're always going to be single. Or you regret um, being in this relationship, possibly. Okay, we got solutions. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience. Forgiving and healing energy. And Queen of Gabrielle passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. Okay, you can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. So, okay, the vibes I'm getting here first off, and then I will kind of look at the rest of the cards, but the vibes I'm getting here is that this is about a relationship between two people, with or without children, um, you're kind of like wondering if you should be serious and settling down with this person. And it could be that either you've had bad relationships in the past, 
or you don't know if this person feels the same way about you or you're like should I tie myself down um, to this situation you know what's best for me and I will say I see a lot of flowers in this reading um, that could be standing for a marriage or for new situations blossoming up in your life okay um, I'm getting the feeling like you need to have a really deep conversation with this person about what their intentions are it could be that you have been going through this honeymoon phase of your relationship and you're like is this going to be some seriousness um, because this emerging card it feels like she is hesitant to come out she's like is this what I really want is this what my heart really wants okay and the children here it could be children but like I said it could also be your inner child is also has a say in this and your inner child may be the one that's afraid of coming out because they don't want to be hurt again okay so these cards down here say, your worry is unnecessary. Okay, focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. And this one says, you can do anything right now. Go after what you want. Self-control and patience. Forgiving and healing energy. Success that comes from objective compromise. Alright, so the self-control and the patience is very highlighted at this time um, if you're not sure don't rush into things that your heart is not sure about and make sure like i was said in the very beginning of this uh, make sure that you're not doing things for the sake of other people's happiness make sure that you are keeping yourself safe okay um if I must say, you know, before you have a kid, you may think that having a child will bring you closer together, but in most cases, it actually kind of breaks the relationship apart and then forces you to come back together either stronger than before or you just end up splitting. And each person has their own way of dealing with things. Um, if you are a person who is healing and working on um, getting in touch with their higher self, uh, but you're questioning whether or not this relationship is right for you, I would do some serious meditation and contemplation because I'm not sure if this relationship is at the level that you need it to be. Is this person going to, is this person open to healing to themselves too? Is this person open to contemplating um, new ways of envisioning relationships. Okay, I'm getting the message that you are passionate, charming, brilliant, and independent. And those are wonderful qualities for anyone to have. But do not let this other person be taking advantage of these qualities that you have. Don't be giving, 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 and then never receiving. And it could be that you are emerging um, this realization is emerging and the universe wants me to say that they always have your back okay they will always be protecting you no matter what choice you make okay and they just want you to know that you have the power to make the decision that is best for you but it is extremely highlighted in this reading that it's important that you have these conversations with people with this person beforehand um, and if they don't want what's in your best interest or vice versa if you don't want what's in their best interest it may be time to you know take out the trash and literally the garbage truck is driving by right the second <laughs> um, so if it is the one you know if this person if you've done the work um, to try to figure out what person you truly want to be with, you would know 
if this is the right person or not. If this person has to change a lot of aspects about their personality to fit in with you, it might not be the right relationship or it might not be the right time. We're often in relationships to learn lessons, to teach each other what we want and what we don't want. And it is definitely really difficult to agree to other people's terms and then be stuck in them. Okay, we all have free will. We all get to decide how we want our lives to turn out. And I hope that you really take a deep contemplation um, about this situation. Um, <clears throat> so the question was, what do you need to hear most right now from the angels? Um, that is some food for thought for you. Um, you are a wonderful person and there are solutions to your problems and your answers. Um, one last thing, do not let money be a factor because money will not follow you through death. Um, your soul connections live on in karmic cycles. So make sure that you are putting your energy where you want it. Love and light, pile two. Hey, pile three. So I'm just going to put my hand over this deck and um, relay what images or visions or sensations that I am getting. So right off the bat, I'm seeing like violin, uh, viola, cello, classical music. I'm sitting alone, listening to calming sounds. And it is a girl that I'm seeing playing this instrument. And I'm getting the message that it's very important to the development and life um, of this individual. And I'm getting um, that this will be an escape from drama from rough times, um, a skill that this person can fall back on. All right, so let's see what we got here, okay? Nature, intention, and answered prayer. Interesting. So this is definitely the peacefulness that I'm feeling. And I'm seeing the two candles here, and I can't help but but feel like there is a balance. Balance. Okay, let's see what these cards say. Perspective. Okay, four of Gabriel. Time for a celebration. Abundant reward for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. I was definitely feeling that releasing from situations um, in my channeling there. And strength. Wow, that's really cool that you have two major arcana in this reading. That means that some big thing is happening for you, to you, um, not sure. Okay, but it seems like you have been asking a question for something that is very difficult, has many levels, has many depths. And that's what I'm feeling here. Okay, she is holding her hands up, praying, and she's kneeling in some water. And the sky is all cloudy. So you may be um, feeling like you're in too deep and you have no power and the only power that you have is prayer. Okay, and it's saying here, answer to prayer, so the universe hears you. Um, but divine timing is also um, something you need to take into account. Okay, the strength card here. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. Okay, very important here. Um, 
you cannot control everything and especially you cannot control other people's choices okay it could be a parent it could be a boss or a friend a family member okay continue to be graceful and kind even though you are struggling inside to keep this strength to keep the faith okay the universe is saying they're balancing it out here okay they hear your prayers now they want you to have the intention add the intention of it okay so it's not enough to say god please do this for me okay you need more than that you need i need this we're doing this god bring this into my life put down your intention put down your foot and have that energy backing you up that it is going to happen. Okay, whatever this thing is, it's going to happen. Okay, and I'm, I'm seeing her inside of this thing. So it could be that she is protected by a um, energetic shell. Could be that she's um, oh, protecting herself with the energetic shell because she's afraid of coming out of this cage. Um, and but I really see with these two lights here that she's balancing everything out. You're working on learning balance, <clears throat> and her heart is shining. So I would say that has something to do with it too, being true to your heart. Um, with nature, it's just graceful, peaceful, um, planting ideas and receiving. Um, receiving results, receiving answers. And there is a, a little river over here with some water jugs here. Okay, there could be some work that you have to do to get to the certain point you want to be at. Maybe if you're trying to be really good at something, you're going to have to put the work in <clears throat> to receive the an this answered prayer that you've been asking for. Okay, nothing comes for free. Um, there's always some type of energy exchange, even if it's just be the feeling of being grateful and being happy that you received it. Okay, uh, I'm definitely getting that you're going to, once you put the work in, and you gain that confidence, you will start to see it come out. So let's look at these cards on the bottom here. Okay, perspective. There is a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. <clears throat> so I really feel like you may be feeling like you're the only person who can get this done. All right, but you may need to realize that others can help you okay right now i've been looking into um, publishing a book and self-publishing it, it costs so much money um, it takes so much time you have to ask people that you may or may not know to read your book and edit it for you um it, there's just a lot that goes into self-publishing. It, it, it feels good to say, you know, I did this all by myself. But there is more to that than, there's more to a book than just being independent. There's more satisfaction that comes with working in a team. And when it comes to like traditional publishing, you write the book your editor helps you um, edit it um, the publishing company sends it to people to review it and they have people work on the artwork for you or setting up the cover or helping you with uh, the title for example and that makes it so much more easier and less burdensome for you. So it could be whatever situation that you want to complete on your own, 
it may be better done in a group setting. The first thing to do is to be open to that opportunity. The second thing that you need to do is research how teams work to get to that goal. And even if you don't know anyone right now that can help you, trust that you can find someone that can help you. Time for celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations. Okay, I'm also getting, oh yeah, right there, burdensome situations, okay? There is a better way. So if you feel like this is weighing on you like crazy, it's time to figure out a different way of doing things. It's time to figure out a different, uh, how people can help you move the process along. Okay, and it's so much better to celebrate with a whole bunch of people who worked hard towards something than just you sitting alone in your house doing a little happy dance and hoping that someone in your family also recognizes your hard work. Okay, it's so important to work as a team. And in this day and age, it's really difficult, uh, I think, sometimes to work in a team because everyone has their own opinion. But if it's meant for you, be patient and you will find Okay, keep your intention. Um, it, it is a lot about the self-talk. So, for example, um, with the book example, um, I think I will get the best publisher for me. I will get the best editor for me. I will get the best reviews for me. Um, everything is always working out for me. And opportunities come my way that are best for me. Uh, maybe you're looking for a place to work, okay? There's a place out there for me, and it's it's coming. It's going to be revealed, okay? Keep those positive, optimistic outlooks, and you will not take anything less, okay? If you have start a... Um, <clears throat> if you start a group trying to figure out trying to create a team um, and you feel like it's not right, okay, trust your intuition, all right, and say, I'm sorry, this is not working, I'm looking, I need to look for a better editor or something. Um, and as I was saying that, I noticed purple, 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 like it's in this uh, triangle form here, okay, so it really seems like it's about having inner strength while also having a pure, cleansed out perspective um, with positive thoughts in it. And I'm seeing more purple over here too, okay? So there's um, flowers over this. And even she has some purple in her with flowers. And even this has some purple in it. So all the cards hold purple. And so that is your crown chakra, okay? Believing that you're part of something bigger. Believing that your blueprint is there for a reason, okay, and that you're meant to do certain things for a reason, um, but make sure your intention is there, okay, if you want to be an author, it's not just so you can make money, okay, it's because if you didn't do this in life, you would regret it at the end of your life, um, if you have something extremely important that you need to tell people about, you know, do this, Okay, your message is what's important when you are an author. Okay, if you want to be a musician, giving that pe giving people that feeling that you receive when you listen to music, that's that's the the thing that we hold on to and that we grasp. Okay, so it's not about the money. Um, what goes around comes around, and I love that with YouTube. Um, you can make a video and three years later, people are still watching it. Five years later, ten years later, um, it's still going around. And until the right people see it um, or the right person reads your book, you may feel doubtful. But you have the power to say, I'm not going to be doubtful. I'm going to have hope. I'm going to set my intention. And I'm not going to miss the opportunity that comes my way. And I'm going to have strength. And I'm going to celebrate with all these people once I everything that I'm hoping for grows and 
comes into fruition. These clouds here are going to pass soon enough. All right. So thank you, Pile 3. I hope that this message helped you. I hope that um, this is what you needed to hear to move on. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel so I can give even more guidance to you guys. And I love to hear any feedback you have about the readings. Love and light.